Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Manhattan Comfort 10 inch wide bookshelf. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put these pieces, which are the 519s, into these channels. And they're going to go in like this with the long end up. And you're going to put screws here and here. And in the booklet it tells you which screws to use. Let's see, which ones do we use? Let me check that out for you. <clears throat> like I said, it's going to be in the booklet. Um, looks like it's going to be the 106s. These right here. Alright. And so, I'm going to go ahead and get a drill and uh, push those in. Now I have the angular supports, okay, uh, screwed down into these channels. And this is the number three board. They have their boards numbered. And they're saying that this ink, you know, if it happens to end up on the outside, just wipes right off. All right. Now the next step is going to be to uh, attach this piece, which is the number three piece, to the number two, I believe. And <clears throat> you have to get it flush, right? And here's something I noticed. There's no pilot holes. There's no pre-drilled holes. So you're going to have to use one of these, okay, to drill some pilot holes, okay, with this in place. So um, it's going to be easier for you to be using a battery-operated drill or an electric drill in order to do this part. And so now I'm going to drill the pilot holes. Okay, I held this in place and it was flush when I drilled the pilot holes. And that's going to make drilling the screws in a lot easier. It would be really hard to do this without drilling the pilot holes first. You might want to put these screws in manually or slow your drill down because if you're not careful, You'll, you'll break these plastic pieces. There's only one extra one. So do be careful when you are doing that so that you don't break these angular supports. So in the end, this is what you have. A piece that looks like this. So there you have it. There's my six shelves. Now it's time to get on with the rest. Time for step two, which is going to be to insert the 033s, okay, into the sides of the shelves which are the wooden dowels. And then after that, we will use the 106s. Actually, that step's already done because we've already attached uh, these two pieces together. So we can skip that because it's already been done. So this is what you should have. And uh, just repeat on the remaining five shelves with the wooden dowels. Okay, so I have one of the boards laying on its side um, on one side, there aren't as many holes and they're smaller. That is the outside. The uh, side that has more holes and the larger holes is the inside. And so I have attached these, but on this one, I have reversed, okay, this part right here. And I'll show you why here in a little while, but I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of these. Here they are, all installed all in the same direction except for this one. The way you install these, you want to make sure that in front of these boards here, you have this uh, one inch, I guess it's one in, or one and a half inch, um, because if you do it the other way, uh, it's gonna be wrong. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take this other piece, okay, and I'm going to attach it to these uh, pegs on the shelves. There you have it. The other side is now attached and now we're going to screw these together. I put 132s in these pre-drilled holes all the way up the side. Now we're going to turn it over on the other side and do the same. Oh, there it is. There's our tower. Now we have to put the back on and you're going to put the white side on the inside. You need the 168s and a hammer. This back panel is just basically a sturdy piece of cardboard. It's a little bit more sturdy than cardboard. You could 
go and have Luan cut and have it cut to where it would come out further on each side, so wider, so that you don't have this issue of having a hard time with the finishing nails. But it is what it is, and I'm going to go with this. Like in the length of these finishing nails, uh, I think they should be about uh, half this long. I think it would be a lot easier if they were, because if you don't drive the nails in straight, like I said, they could push through to the other side and uh, mess up the, the inside of your shelving unit. So, I don't know. I think I'm just going to switch to some uh, shorter finishing nails that I have on hand. There we have it. Now it's all assembled and ready to be put where it goes.